Welcome to this presentation of Faro's Dictionaries. Faro's Dictionaries is an established publisher of South African dictionaries across the board. We publish dictionaries in all 11 official languages, monolingual, bilingual and multilingual. We are an authoritative, trusted and definitive brand. Faros is proud to announce the publication of our brand new series of nine bilingual English African languages dictionaries. English is in Dwele, English Sepedi, English Sesutu, English Setswana, English Siswati, English Shitsonga, English Trivenda, English Isitosa, and English Isizulu. The Faro series of bilingual dictionaries supports the language and education policy of the Department of Basic Education, that is, to develop and maintain all the official languages, to promote multilingualism in South Africa, and to support the teaching and learning of all the official languages. The series is suitable for both English speakers and speakers of the nine official African languages who wish to learn an additional language. This series of dictionaries is focused on an entry level of learning a new language. Therefore, they are perfect for use in schools in various grades in the intermediate phase, senior phase or FET phase and even at tertiary level for students studying the African language for the first time. English learners or students can use their dictionary to start learning their chosen African language for the first time. At the same time, non-native speakers of English will be able to build their vocabulary and communication skills in English. In the first part of each of the nine dictionaries, English is the alphabetical source language and the translations are in the African language. For this presentation, we will focus specifically on English Setswana and English Sesutu throughout. In the second part of the dictionary, the African language is the alphabetical source language with the translations in English, for example, Setswana English and Sesutu English. Each dictionary includes approximately 4,000 words frequently used and their translations, definitions of words in English and some everyday phrases as you can see in these examples of Setswana and Sesutu. Let's look inside. Your dictionary lists words alphabetically in both languages. This is a page from the English site for English Setswana and English Sesutu. And this is a page from the Setswana and Sesutu site. At the top of each page, the words on the left and right show users the first and last headwords on the particular page. The headwords in the particular language appear alphabetically in bold blue print throughout the dictionary. For example, catch, caterpillar, cattle, and so on. Or in Sesutu, di patli siso, di patlo patlo, di pieletso, and so on. Let's look a little closer at part one, the English side. English Setswana and English Sesutu. An explanation, definition or synonym for the head word is given in italic print. As you can see, this text is exactly the same in both dictionaries, English Setswana and English Sesutu. The Setswana or Sesutu translation is given in blueprint after the English description. For example, chain, ketane, ketane, che, setulo, setulo, and so on. 
After each head word, the abbreviation of the part of speech is given in brackets. Learners therefore also get some grammatical information they may need. The abbreviations for parts of speech used in the dictionaries are shown in the box in the middle of this slide. If a head word can function as more than one part of speech, a blue square marks the second one. For example, fish can be a noun or a verb in English. The part of speech can be seen in blue brackets. First the noun and after the blue square, the verb. The description will further help the learner. If the learner wants to know the translation for the creature with scales and fins, this is very clear. The translation in both Setswana and Sesutu is Tlapi. If the learner wants to know the translation of the verb meaning to catch a fish, the Setswana is Chwara Tlapi and the Sesutu is Hochwasa di Tlapi. If an English word has more than one meaning, they are numbered one, two, etc., followed by the different definitions and translations. For example, if the learner wants to know the translation for division, there are three different translations. If you mean a separation into parts, the translation is Karolo in Setswana, Karohano in Sesutu. If you mean the section of an organization, the translation is Lepata in Setswana, Karolo in Sesutu. If you mean division in mathematics, the translation is Arola in both Setswana and Sesutu. Also see the examples for needle and play. If an English word can be translated into Setswana or Sesutu with more than one word, they are separated by a semicolon. These words are synonyms or near synonyms, or sometimes indicate a loan word from English. Look at these examples for relation, reserve, residence and resign in Setswana, and referee, receipt, residence and road in Sesutu. Here are more pages from each dictionary, randomly chosen, where you can see more examples. Page 37. Herbs to horse riding in English, Setswana, hearing to homepage in English, Sesutu. Page 49. Minibus to move in English, Setswana. Microwave oven to monkey in English, Sesutu. Page 73, State Precedent to Streaming in English Setswana. Page 74, Stationary to Stretch in English Sesutu. And page 82, Umbrella to Vapor in English Setswana. Page 83, Two Dimensional to Valid in English Sesutu. We will now have a look at part 2 of your dictionary. Setswana English and Sesutu English. As with English in part 1, the Setswana and Sesutu headwords or phrases in part 2 appear alphabetically in bold blue print. The explanation, definition or synonym for the headword is given in English to help both English-speaking learners and Setswana Sesutu mother tongue speakers. In the African languages, many headwords are not one-word items, but phrases. These are also part of the alphabetical order, as you can see in these examples. The 
The part of speech is only given as the English abbreviation where the word functions as more than one part of speech. And this is again marked by a blue square. The English translation is given in blueprint after the English description. In this part of the dictionary, the same applies to different meanings of the head word numbered 1, 2, etc. For example, if the learner wants to know the translation for the Setswana, Setshaba, there are two different translations. If it refers to the people of a country, the English translation will be nation. If it refers to people in general, the English translation will be society. And in Sesutu, for example, Sebaka can be a position, or a site, or a venue, or an institution in English. The learner will have to read each definition to choose the right English translation. Translations that are synonyms are separated by a semicolon. For example, Sehatsetsi in Sesutu can be translated as fridge or refrigerator. Here are more pages from part 2 of each dictionary. Page 93. Parikisa mebileng to betla in Setswana English. Beke to bofuma in Sesutu English. Page 111. Kakopo to karabo in Setswana English. Boloa to bopaka in Sesutu English. Page 180. Ungwa to University in Setswana English. Page 173. Ulu to Yamaiki in Sesutu English. At the back of your dictionary, you will find a very useful section with expressions, statements, and questions for general conversation and situations, from English to Setswana or Sesutu. For example, for meeting and greeting, finding directions, eating out, shopping, and money matters. Here are a few examples. For more information on the nine dictionaries in this series, you can contact our regional sales managers or key account managers. You are also welcome to visit our website at www.faros.co.za. Thank you. Kiale Bocha. Kiale Boa.